The Body Bags, Terrifying Murder of David Carter A 39-year-old Michigan single father named David Carter disappeared from his Melvindale, Michigan, home in 2018. Only a few days later, his dismembered body parts were discovered in three different bags near Ohio's Interstate 75. Tammy Williams, David's six-month girlfriend, is the last person to see him alive. Williams, a former travel agent, was arrested right away and marked as a person of interest by the authorities. Williams accompanied Carter and his family to Carter's football game on September 28, 2018. David and Tammy came to the game together, but weren't together at the game, said DJ Carter's mother, Samia Connor. A text message from Carter's phone apparently stating that he was sick was received by Connor two days after DJ was meant to remain with his father. When DJ went to his father's house to pick up some items, he reportedly saw Williams remove the trash cans. According to DJ, she went to the apartment door as she ran. Additionally, the door was locked when I arrived at my dad's place. She should have left it open since she saw me, but I had the key. Williams is said to have informed DJ that Carter went for a walk. On October 2, Carter's coworker informed his family that he hadn't come to work in three days. The family later went to his apartment, where they reportedly discovered it to be open and covered in a sizable blood mark underneath the bed and on top of his mattress, which had been shot through. Cartier's sister Tasia Carter Jackson stated, On Tuesday night, after we discovered the stain and the gunshot hole, I called Tammy and asked her, Tammy, I'm going to ask you one more time, where is my brother? Tasia, I don't know what you're talking about, she responded. He hasn't been around me since Sunday. When I informed her that he was missing, she showed no sign of worry. Williams was first detained on October 5 after Carter's body was discovered four days earlier, but she was later freed due to a lack of sufficient evidence. In the middle of October of that year, she left Detroit, and the police started to search for her. Williams is still wanted by the U.S. Department of Justice, with U.S. Marshal Supervisory Deputy Aaron Garcia telling Fox 2 in September 2021, We are going to locate you. We have been looking into this issue for three years, and thus far there hasn't been any collaboration, he continued. According to reports, the U.S. Marshals are offering a $10,000 prize for information regarding Williams. She may be a dangerous woman, according to Andrew Battersby of the U.S. Marshals Task Force in Detroit. He continues, the weapon that was used has not been recovered, so she's presumably armed and dangerous. Battersby claims that on October 16, 2018, Williams was spotted in in Arbor, Michigan, where she made a cash withdrawal and had dinner at a restaurant. She allegedly took a train to Chicago on October 17 before transferring to a different train at Penn Station in New York City to check into the Neptune Hotel under her name. She is said to have stayed for one night, and on August 18, she was last seen leaving the hotel when she was captured on surveillance footage. She might be wearing wigs or have short braids, Battersby continued. She has a large rose tattoo on her left shoulder that extends from the elbow all the way up to the shoulder, which is the one feature that unites her. That bouquet of roses is going to be distinctive. Days later she was freed because there was insufficient proof. Williams fled, and authorities are unsure of her current whereabouts. But someone is aware of her location. Tamara Williams has experience as a phlebotomist and travel agent. She has strong ties to Atlanta, Georgia, and Brooklyn, New York. Authorities speculate that she may have a different haircut to hide her identity while evading capture. In connection with David Carter's death, the U.S. Department of Justice is presently looking for Tamara Tammy Williams, 43, for mutilation, dissection of a dead corpse, tampering with evidence, and felony firearm. Now, what is the coincidence that her mother Verdeen Day, a retired Detroit Fire Union treasurer, is accused of stealing more than $200,000 from her union and using the money for opulent vacations and other personal expenses, according to Fox 2. 
After the alleged scam was discovered as a result of an audit that was started in 2020, Verdine Day was charged in federal court with bank and wire fraud. Day, who was once recognized as the Detroit Woman Firefighter of the Year, first drew suspicion in October 2019, immediately following her retirement. Day served as the treasurer from December 1, 2015, until her retirement from the Detroit Fire Department in September 2019, according to the indictment. She worked for the department for 29 years before being chosen treasurer, and her role is to keep track of and maintain the fire department's expenses. Additionally, the DFFA provided her with multiple credit cards, a monthly car allowance, a mobile phone allowance, paid parking, and a salary equal to 40% of her base pay. However, she was required to give receipts for all purchases. Why did Ms. Day think she could just take this money and not be held accountable? She was being paid a good salary sounds like. And why risk your freedom and let 29 years of long hard work go down the drain? I can tell you it sounds like greed. Ms. Day's daughter Tamara, however, was in trouble and has been on the run for over a year now, so she probably used some of this money to help her daughter escape justice. This case angered me I don't understand why Tammy also known as Tamara would commit a heinous crime like this to such a wonderful man. To cut anyone's body into pieces and throw them on the highway like trash is very cruel. Then Tamara was an idiot to think she was clever to get away with murder and outsmart the detectives. How do you adjust to being with a man every day? Following him around like a puppy dog, then just not being concerned about him after you get a call from his sister, stating he was missing. I knew from the start this evil woman did something to this man. I hope they catch her soon and fast. Now that we have concluded this video, please like share and subscribe for more updates and videos.